following examples, we're going to use the worksheet that's posted on the S drive and the balanced equation and using calculations with molarity. So I'm going to work problem number 13, and this is the balanced equation for that problem. And we're, we have two different questions within the same um, problem, so we'll, we'll answer both of those. The first question is how many grams of sodium carbonate are needed to react with this particular volume, uh, this molarity of nitric acid. So if we look at our molarity, or our uh, stoichiometry map, and notice what we're asked about. We're asked about this, and we're given information about this. And so what we're going to do from the stoichiometry map, we are not going to go from grams of A to calculate our moles of H and O3, we're going to take the molarity and multiply by the volume. We're going to have to change the volume to liters. This will give us moles of H and O3. Then we'll go to the balanced equation to calculate moles of sodium carbonate and then use its molar mass to calculate grams of sodium carbonate. So I'm going to show that here. So whenever we see a V and an M given, we have this volume of this molarity. I'm going to write this volume in liters before I get started. 0 0.0359 liters. Capital M is a conversion factor. M means mole per one liter. And so that number 0 0.0876, and that's moles of HNO3. My liters cancel, so I'm going to go, this is really molarity times volume, or volume times molarity. Now I'm going to go to the balanced equation to convert to moles of sodium carbonate. So from 2 to 1, so for every 2 moles of HNO3, it requires 1 mole of sodium carbonate, NO2CO3. So on the stoichiometry map, remember we use the balanced equation to get from moles of what's given to moles of what we're asked about. Okay, and then the third step, we're going to just need the molar mass. So my moles of HNO3 also cancel. And now the molar mass step, this is always one, so this is the big fat one, one mole of Na2CO3 weighs two times what sodium weighs, plus one carbon, plus three times what oxygen weighs. And if we do that, the molar mass for that is 105.99, and that's grams of Na2CO3. That number is already in my calculator. I'm going to divide by 2, multiply by 0 0.0876, and multiply by this number. And when, oh, I don't want to apply it again. Did I do it? Did I get the answer? No. The 105.99 divided by 2 times 0 0.0876 times 0 0.0359. So half of the problem is just getting all that entered in the calculator correctly. When we do that, then everything cancels except for grams. And so that's exactly what we're looking for, 0.167 grams of Na2CO3. Okay. So we'll do this second problem and we're going to proceed the same way except this time we're asked for the mass of sodium nitrate. So for the second part of the problem we need this even though it's aqueous instead of that. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this volume times the 
molarity of the acid. Then go to the balanced equation, it'll be 2 to 2, and then the molar mass is going to be different because that's a different formula. So the second part's going to look just the same as the beginning. That's many liters times the molarity, 0 0.0876. That's moles per one liter of HNO3. If you would like, you could stop and calculate that. We really don't need to do that. We can keep going. Times 0 0.0876. If we did that, we have this small number, 0 0.00314, blah, blah, blah. The problem with stopping is that we've got a... I'll write that. I'm going to leave this number in the calculator. And this is moles of HNO3. I still have to go to the balanced equation to convert to moles of sodium nitrate. So 2 to 2, so it takes 2 moles of sodium nitrate for every 2 moles of nitric acid. NaNO3. So this number is going to stay the same. And then we need the molar mass of the sodium nitrate. So the big fat one, one mole of NaNO3 weighs one sodium plus one nitrogen plus three oxygens, and that weighs 85 grams. So I'm not going to clear out this number and then re-enter it. I'm going to leave that number in the calculator. The twos cancel, so there's no reason to multiply and then divide by two. So I'm just going to multiply that by 85. And when I do that, I get 0.267. And that's grams of NaNO3. This one up here was grams of Na2CO3. So we just took one balanced equation and made two separate problems for that. And if we check the answer there, we get 0.267 grams of sodium nitrate. That's the NaNO3. Again, we use the M times the V to get to moles of what we're given. We go to the balanced equation to get moles of what we're asked for, and then grams of what we're asked for. 